Lawrence Hoover. I work part-time as an English teacher. I work part-time as a craftsperson. And I work part-time as a tour guide. So that makes it about a full-time job. So I'm very pleased to be here. And I hope that you will enjoy the presentations of the belugas. We, are, we have passed the areas where the belugas are. But when we do come back, the last cruising day, just before arriving in Saguenay, we will be cruising along the area where the belugas are. So the different towns that I will refer to, you can enjoy that on the way back. You see the dolphin on top, probably the most elegant of the smaller whales. We have 19 species of, of dolphins in the world. We have a couple of them that are in the St. Lawrence River. And you see the size and the weight of them and the dorsal fin on their back. Then we have the different porpoises. We have six species of porpoises, some of them as well in the St. Lawrence River, also with their dorsal fin, uh, elongated as well. And then we have the beluga. It's more of a plumpy whale. I like plump. That's okay. Plumpy is okay. They're really coming to feed. We always have a good reputation in Quebec for fine food, so that's where they're coming for, to feed on our <laughs> fine food. Not the same we do, but they, they still do feed. The reason why we have them here is because 10,000 years ago, most of North America, the northern part of North America, was covered by glaciers. It was our ice age. And the ice was about what, a bit more than one mile thick. Very so that's why we ice. found Felix the Beluga, in 2001, 18 miles north of the river, in Mrs. Eno's field. She is raising, not belugas, she's raising cattle and chickens. And she had her trenches dug, and she found a big vertebrae. And she realized, it ain't a cow, it's too big. And she knew that different generations of farmers had been on the land, but none, none of the cows would have been that big. So she made many, many calls, apparently. And finally, the Paleontology Society responded to her calls, came and said, ooh, beluga, complete skeleton of a beluga. And they named it Felix because it was found in the town of saint Felix de valois Now let's meet officially our belugas. The name is Delphinapterus lucas. Lucas is white. Delphin for dolphin, and apterus means without a wing or without a fin. So it's a white whale without a fin. And we call it DL for short. They are a very vocal species, so let's hear some of their sounds. I find them cute. Right? Adorable, isn't it? And remember I told you about the skin that was the thickest skin ever? So the skin was used to make leather and laces in particular. So those are advertisements from Sears Roebuck in 1898. Advertising some, uh, it was called porpoise lace. We have some of the larger boats that do whale watching with the large windows and the platform, so beautiful to see. And when we say whale watching, not only belugas, but all the six species of whales we have. Some do it in a zodiac, quite an adventure to do that. I've done that many times. And then the kayak, and this is Pearl. That's where the cupcakes come from. I told you I worked at a resort, I worked in the Fairmount Manoir Richelieu in La Malbaie. And so we adopted Pearl in 2005. Uh, her name officially is DL575, but we thought Pearl sounded nicer. We are a family resort, so we have lots of activities for the families and the children. So that's why I'm very close to Belugas, because I'm one of the handlers for the mascot, so I always accompany Pearls on her outings. So these are some of the little babies here. I didn't hear, aw. Aw. Thank you. <laughs> Some of the pictures taken in 2014 of the new births we have in the summertime. The mother's milk is 30% fat content. Yeah, and she nurses for 24 to 30 months. Yep, that's why they can only have calves every three years. That is both managed by federal and provincial government. 
which is hard to do in Quebec if you know our politics. Yeah. So good for that. We're working together to save, well, I say belugas, of course, because we're talking about belugas today, but it's to save all the whales. If you're here this afternoon, then I'll be here with the side screen as well. So thank you. Enjoy your day. Alors, ce qu'on voit ici, c'est dans la photo du haut, les messieurs qui partent avec les harpes, donc les grandes pôles d'arbres, 18 à 20 pieds de long, et qui les installent. Donc, ça prenait jusqu'à 5 marées pour installer une chasse au biluga. Donc, on plantait ça à marée basse pour former, vous voyez la carte en bas, pour former, ça partait de la pointe de l'île à l'île au coude, et le grand C, ça formait ça. Ça prenait jusqu'à 4000 harpes pour faire une pêche au biluga. Alors maintenant, les excursions qui ont commencé en 71 sont devenues plus une industrie à partir de 83. Et donc, on voit des bateaux comme sur la plateforme que j'ai ici, bateaux d'AML qui ont des très belles fenêtres en bas pour permettre de voir les baleines. Et sur le haut, la plateforme qui va au-delà du bateau, donc c'est intéressant comme observation. Il y a les mêmes types d'observations aussi à bord de Zodiac, qui est une expérience complètement différente que d'être à bord d'un gros bateau. Et à kayak aussi. On s'entend que quand c'est observation de baleines, c'est vraiment pour toutes les espèces de baleines, donc pas seulement les bulugas. Alors, d'où vient l'histoire des petits gâteaux? Ça, c'est perles. Moi, je travaille à temps percel au ferment de Maman Richelieu. Et Maman Richelieu, c'est un hôtel de villégiature, donc on a des activités pour la famille pendant les vacances de Noël, de Pâques et autres. En ce moment, ils sont en train, il y en a qui travaillent au manoir. C'est pas moi en ce moment, mais il y en a qui travaillent au manoir. Et c'est la fête de semaine à l'Action de Grâce, donc je sais qu'il y a beaucoup d'activités pour l'Action de Grâce. Alors, Père s'est rendu dans notre mascotte. Alors, Père, c'est un vrai biluga, c'est la photo qu'on voit en haut. Son nom officiel, c'est DL575. On trouvait que c'était moins intéressant pour les enfants de l'appeler « Veux-tu voir DL-575? » Perl, c'est quand même plus intéressant. Il faut parler des mamans et des petits bébés. Alors là, c'est ici là, qu'il faut dire oh. « oh. oh. Merci. Alors donc, <rire> mère et veau. Alors, les petits bébés, ce sont des veaux et que nous, on appelle au Québec des bleuvets. Les femelles ont maturité entre 8 et 15 ans. Et les mâles, sans commentaire, entre 15 et 16 ans. Pas <rire> généralisé, parce que pour les bilugas, les mâles sont plus longs à devenir matures. 